So what brings you guys to SantaCon today? We came to have fun and spread the Christmas cheer. Oh yeah? Get drunk. To get drunk. <laughs> At a SantaCon two years ago, someone got a hand job in a Dwayne Reed. <laughs> That's Sweet. fucking awesome. Right, in Santa outfits. I'm wondering if you think the Santa outfit is going to help you meet girls. I'm going to say no, because my girlfriend might see this, but yeah. I said fuck yeah. But you think maybe it could help? Oh, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. I'm here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, at what has come to be known as an annual gathering of bros. SantaCon. The event began in 1994 in San Francisco as a sort of winter burning man, all about outfits and creativity and togetherness. But in the years since, it has come to be known as organized costume debauchery. The organizers insist it's still all about the creativity and the Christmas spirit. Totally about Christmas. Here we go. We're here today to find out which is true. This is Ask a Bro, Santa Con. This was the first year that SantaCon began in Brooklyn. Participants met in McCarran Park, where an hour was devoted to a group photo, costume contest, and reindeer games. <laughs> I hate sports. I hate them so much. What's the inspiration for your costume? Uh, Jimmy the Claus is here to enforce the Santa code. And the Santa Code is about respect. Have you had problems with respect? Yeah, mostly it's a bit of disrespect from the press and the politicians. They hear about things like hand jobs in a Dwayne Reed. Happened once, never saw it. You see way more smiles than hand jobs over here. I would smile at a hand job. Well, uh, see you guys later. <laughs> Do you feel like dressing up helps you attract women? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about the suspenders. It's the suit like this only comes around once in a year. Anything else. Sure. Have you guys been friends before, or did you meet at Santa Con? We've been friends for years. Really? Yep. Do you guys get each other Christmas presents? Yes. Yes. Really? Every year. Every year. Really? Tradition. What do you get each other? Oh, each other. you can't ruin it. You. you can't spoil it this year. Exactly. It'd be. A, it wouldn't be a surprise. Can you guys five. name all the reindeer? Was it Chipotle? We can't. Cupid. Fucking fixings. Uh, yeah, we can't. Yeah. Do you have a plan for what you're getting your girlfriend for Christmas? Yeah, we're all single, so nothing. Yes. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> have you been to SantaCon before? No. Florida. What brings you? All the way from Florida. Drinking. Drinking. Okay. So all I want to do is get hammered drunk and hit on good looking girls. Hey, you came all the way here just for Santa Con? That's it. Is your suit helping you hit on good looking girls? It's helping them talk to me. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Totally. So, like, how many good looking girls? Like, wh how many Who's do you like think? Not me. Can you name all the reindeer? Rudolph. It's probably about it. You don't know any of the others? I don't think so. Not a single reindeer. There are eight others. We hit the first bar on the SantaCon route. It was only 11 a.m., but I found myself at a full-blown rave. I'm not the kind of person who would normally attend SantaCon, but when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Although a mechanical bull is not a standard Christmas tradition, many Santas found it a good replacement for a sleigh. I was impressed that Santa Bros seemed to really care about their fellow man and, in some cases, the environment. Do you guys believe in climate change? Yes. 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 Yeah. It's yes. hot as hell during SantaCon right now. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. I, I, I actually did Global a paper warming. on this. It's, I recycle and I refuse to litter. Do you feel like you guys are bonding? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, oh we are. Some I met these guys. So Wait, I didn't know him until today, and we're all best friends now. Well, I got really? a friend at Wagner. Okay. I got this friend right here. Now he's got a couple friends. Now he's got a couple Couple guys uh -huh. from Wagner College. Now they're my boys. Can you guys name the reindeer? Rudolph, oh, Prancer, Dan. Dancer, Vixen. Oh my God! Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comic Cupid, Donald. No one knows this 
sequence. My parents but it's very told me Santa wasn't real. It's, it's like, what does it mean to bro down? That means you get a collection of guys, you get into a small room. You argue about something and then you come to a consensus. Yeah. Of something that's not important at all. Probably yeah. faster than Congress would, too. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of just like get a nice circle. Thank you, Trump, for teaching us the ways. Not all bar owners were happy to have Santa drop down their chimneys. There's a sign on the bar door that says that Santa capacity is not one and we have reached capacity and then under that statement is a picture of you. Yes. Yes. I enjoy being the only one. How do you feel about SantaCon 2015? At times we've had a hundred of them in here at once and it got ridiculous. So it's like, you know, no more of that. What kinds of things do they do in the bar? Like get drunk, throw up on the floor. Yeah. Um, Have you ever posed a Santa Claus? No. Yeah. Unless there's a beautiful woman sitting on my lap. And she puts a hat on me and then... You'll accept it. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> As the day wore on, I was pleasantly surprised at the friendly reception I encountered. I expected to be harassed by the Santas, but most of them were actually just boys from the suburbs who had come to the big city to bond with their bros. Have you planned your outfits for a long time? Yep. Oh, actually, we went out, we went out the same day and bought the same shirt. Uh-huh, on purpose, because you wanted to match? We've been best yeah. friends since preschool, so like... Really? Yeah. Wow, so you guys were destined to be together. Yeah, and we live, like, down the street from each other. Oh, my God. Wait. We work together and hang out every weekend, so we spend, like, 80 hours a week together. So where do you guys work? Well, Lauren, I work at Wawa. I also work at Wawa. We love yeah, it so much that we have tattoos on our legs of it. You have tattoos? Yes. Can I see it? So are they matching? Oh, you, yes. They're matching, yeah. Same spot. OK. There so are five people that have this tattoo. Five, five people wait. at Wawa. It's actually the goose. Wawa that have What's this the tattoo. goose? It's the symbol. And you got them at the same time? Same okay. time, same Did place. Did they hurt? No. Yeah, it hurt me. What would you say that Santa represents? Presence. How old were you when you learned that Santa Claus wasn't real? Is that Sir, real? Is it real? So 21. 21. What? Today, you, Vice broke me the news. <laughs> Damn. I have to call all my right. mom. Can you name all the reindeer? Prancer, Dan. Nixon or Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> there are definitely reasons for someone to hate SantaCon. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and it fills up the streets with drunk people. Are you ready? Yeah, one, count me down. OK, one, two, three. But everybody I talked to truly did have the Christmas spirit, although a few of them could name all of Santa's reindeer. In the end, SantaCon does seem like a good opportunity for male bonding, which we saw some women getting in on too. How much did this cost? $16, poor you see. OK, that's pretty good, and it has Fingers. Little fingers, you know? I had to cut one out so I could touch my phone. What's right. that doing totally? Oh, we know what you're doing. Because you got a Snapchat and you got an Instagram. <laughs> yeah, you got oh. 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 You're on the naughty list. Dirty, dirty Santa.